This video is really about helping you to understand what copyright is and how it affects you. We have tried to keep the legal terms and references to a minimum, but some is unavoidable, so take your time watching this video and if there is anything you don't understand, please get in touch. Copyright is a legal right that covers all creative forms. This means that if your work is protected by copyright, legally nobody else is allowed to copy it. Without permission, of course. If somebody were to do so, they would be liable to have to pay you for the use of your work. The creative work may be in a literary, artistic, educational or musical form. This also means that the work of other people is protected by the same laws. When you publish anything on the internet, a photo or a song, a story, a movie or a drawing, you automatically own an all rights reserved copyright to that creativity. This protects your creativity against any use that you don't consent to. Some people, though, are happy for their work to be used by everyone, or some of their work to be used for certain uses, and to enable this to happen, there is a licensing service called Creative Commons. Sounds complicated, but it isn't, and it's free to use. Check out the link in our further reading section. That means you could allow people to remix, reuse, refine your work, and you would still own it. The reason for copywriting your material is to protect your work. Without this legal protection, anybody can take and use your creative material for their own gain, financial or otherwise, and give you nothing. It's important to safeguard your work so that you get any profit or success due to you that may arise from it. Just as it is important to protect yourself, you must also respect other people's rights and not infringe on their creative work either. So when it comes to adding music to a film or a podcast, you can't just use your favorite song. You have to make sure that whatever music you do use is copyright free, or that you have received permission to do so. This can be done as simply as contacting them and asking their permission for you to use their work. As mentioned earlier, protection is automatic from the moment you create your work. However, you may not share your work online. And then in that case, how do you copyright your work? There may also come a time when you need to prove that the work is in fact yours. This is unlikely, but it may happen. Send yourself a physical copy of your work by registered post after you've created it. Print out your script or lyrics, or make a CD of your song or DVD of your video, or put them on a USB. Keep the envelope and receipt safe, and if an infringement ever comes up, this will be able to be opened in court and act as proof of copyright. Another way to get this protection is to register your work with an organization such as the Irish Copyright Licensing Agency, who will then provide evidence that the work is yours should the need ever arise. There are other organizations such as IMRO that can help to be a part of also. At this stage of your creative career, it is important to make sure that when you publish anything online, that you establish your ownership of the work. And this can be by keeping good digital file management systems, emailing work to a friend or even yourself. Copyright will last the lifetime of the creator plus 70 years. After this, the song, film or design, etc. goes into the public domain and is free for anyone to use. The details of this can change from country to country, but generally speaking, this is the rule. You can use someone else's work by buying the rights to it or getting permission. The song Happy Birthday was in copyright until recently. Same with the works of James Joyce. But if you want to stage a Samuel Beckett play, then you have to get permission from his estate. The reason that TV series and film often show vintage films on TVs in the background is because oftentimes these films or shows are in the public domain and free to use or copyright has expired. There are always some exceptions to the rule when it comes to infringement on copyright. If the work is being used for educational purposes or as part of an archive or library, it is often allowed but not always. If the copyright is not seen as substantial, it is also not seen as infringement. However, this is risky on behalf of the copying party, as substantiality is quite a loose term. The term fair dealing is used if another artist credits your work. You might see many musicians doing this when they cover a song. This is also allowed. Furthermore, you can license someone to use your work if you wish. An artist will often charge for this. Be careful when publishing anything online, if you have used someone else's music or sound effects. You will be penalized by YouTube. 
etc. for infringements and you may find your videos have received claims that aren't correct because bots have recognized part or a similar part of a song. We recommend always using royalty free music or better still create your own. See our music production module on how to do just that. Copyright will generally cover whatever original work you create, such as scripts for your podcast or movie, the actual sound recordings you make, song lyrics, and music. However, it won't necessarily cover the title of your podcast or the name of your movie or song. Also worth noting, if you are interviewing somebody, you own the copyright to the questions, but your guests will own the copyright to their answers. Some professional shows will ask their guests to sign a talent release form, to prevent any disputes when a podcast has been released. If you are collaborating with other people, then that copyright is shared between all of the creators. It is always a good idea to have a discussion about this before you start a collaboration so that everyone involved agrees on how the copyright will be shared. None of this information should stop you making your own work, providing you know what copyright is, how to protect yours, and that you respect the copyright of other creators. You should never have an issue. Likewise, taking five minutes to agree on how copyright will be shared before you start a collaboration will normally avoid issues down the line. Enjoy and keep creating.